Hey, what's up? So last time we named our daughter, we named ourselves. You know, I regret both names. One, I can't remember her name. Two, I think our name is stupid. Uh, but yeah, so we went around. Uh, we met a bunch of townspeople. We started farming, cooking, making our daughter nice and strong. And um, yeah, so let's keep going. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's check the news. Alright, March 1st. As more fields have been reclaimed, people discover the beauty of Wild Horse Lake. More and more painters and paddlers carrying tourists have gathered here. Let's go paddling in the Wild Horse. Missing... Searching for Prince Kenneth. This is kind of sad. He looks so baby. Prince Kenneth has been missing for a month. <gasps> And the royal palace hasn't given up. If any citizen has any clues, please get in touch with Head Knight Ned. Rumors say Landlord Hand seems to have a few lovers, even illegitimate daughter. But both the landlord and his wife claim that this is not true. Ooh, scandalous. <laughs> what was your dream? I want to know your dream. I have one talent. I don't know what um I want. Like, why does she have to be so strong? I'm a little concerned. So... Uh, Part-time jobs? Really? You're five. Here, let's just... Let's just get better at, like, life stuff. Let's, let's cook. Oh, two blocks. Fifty. Oh, sorry, three. Yeah. <laughs> I'll finish. This kingdom is Ferris Fortress. Uh, let's do a short game. <laughs> and then let's take a rest. <laughs> and let's go here. Oh, there's more peep farmer's wife. Wo woozy. I can't help but think, like, is she tired because she's woozy? Like, <laughs> Ooh, what? Did I just steal from her? I think I just stole from her. Wait. Eh, eh, more. Uh... Let's take another nap. Let's be strong. Let's cook more. I can't cook more. So the sorcerer- oh wait, I didn't even talk to the people. Oh, I should go back. I'm going back. She's kinda cute. Ah, I'm awake. What on earth is that inquis inquisitive creature beside you? Plus one to perception. Roll deception. Good afternoon, Miss Fair and Mr. Kiff. Thanks to Mes Mr. Warrior and the Knights, the Kingdom of Vol Volcano has been recovered after the Raid of Magical Beast eight years ago. But the influx of refugees back then, our food reserves and land distribution are still problematic. What do Mr. Kiff think of the refugees? Oh, uh, we can just help each other. Has anyone ever told Mr. Kiff that you were a nice guy? You always think of others. Uh -huh. I I've never talked to the man. Can we just talk? Oh. Hi. Hi. The scenery today is the same as yesterday. The scenery yesterday was the same as the day before. <laughs> Can I show you around, my old friend? Now we do. Alright, now let's go back. Actress. Speak. I heard Absol turn down the offer from the royals and insisted on killing those magical beasts by himself. If not for fame, nor for money, why is he obsessed? Um, he has a promise to keep. <laughs> what? Here. I am, though. I don't think he'll keep his promise. If you're free, come to the theater and watch my performance. I. Hmm? Good afternoon to you both. Want to hear a story about the valley? Sure. Hmm. 
Five years ago, several experienced hunters went to the Forgotten Forest to hunt. They wandered deeper and deeper and stayed in the valley for seven days. The night of the seventh day happened to be a full moon, and the hunter set up a bonfire and fell asleep, but it wasn't long before they were awakened by voices from the forest. At first, the hunters thought it was just an animal passing by, but then they heard a sound, a laugh, sharp and piercing, miserable, joyous. Suddenly, the laughter turned to screams, the screams of women, and the cries of babies came from the dark forest. Immediately after the crying stopped, there were bursts of sounds like volcanic rocks smashing into the ground, mixed with the sounds of heavy footsteps approaching the hunter step by step. The hunter started to yell, waving hunting knives and longbows frantically, shooting arrows into the forest, but there was no echo. It wasn't until the full moon was covered by clouds that the voices gradually subsided. The hunter stayed up all night and hurried out of the valley at sunrise. They walked to the mouth of the valley and found that the grounds was covered with obsidian, a black streak across the valley like a long black chain with no end in sight. Someone was greedy. He wanted to pick up some obsidian and take it back with him, but when he picked it up, the stone instantly turned into hot white ash in his hands, melting his skin. Huh? What happened next? <laughs> <laughs> Farrah doesn't look scared at all. It's fair to see a child like yourself. Mm. Sociopath. Later, those hunters escaped and told everyone about it. As for whether it's true or not, only the goddess knows. Uh. Oh, my little sociopath. Why'd your mood again? That was such a spooky story. Alright, Absol, let's hang out. People think I'm putting myself in danger by killing magical creatures, but I enjoy it. Hehe. <laughs> story corner. Huh? I don't think I need any more action points, right? I painted, I did the thing. I play hide and seek, I play blocks. It's fine. I think I'll just... Here, have a large snow smoothies. This looks like a cupcake. <laughs> Gold. I have more talent? One chance. Sure. Let's go home. Intellect and emotion. My emotion's pretty high, actually. <laughs> dead, dead. Oh, my emotion's kind of high. Uh. Whatever. I guess we could just go for it and then. Imagination's kinda low, my feels kinda low. We'll do more strength. The professor was quite happy. We finished it. Today was a pretty good state. Uh, Farrah was in a pretty good state, earned lots of battle experiences. Nice. What kind of story? Well, she seemed kinda into that, that one story, so let's do the plague, ma plague mouse. I don't know why that makes her smarter. Farah, right, she's listening with great interest. Master, there are a lot of coins on the ground. I think someone spilled them here on purpose. Yeah, what- what- wait, who's- fuck. Yes, what amazing luck for us. Got a hundred gold. Uh, I feel like that's gonna bite us in the ass, but whatever. Hello, Zasha. Love her. Good morning. Smart egg picture book. Right there. Let's. Huh. Mm. Let's do. Let's go out first before we play at home. Let's go here. We can go pick up farm stuff. <gasps> There's a strange black cat! Oh, you're so cute. Let's harvest first. 
sell it so more. Why can't I get more fields? Let's do... Yeah. Let's talk to the kid. Meow. Meow meow. Can you bring me a fish? How do I get you a fish? Hello, lost kid. My pa- Oh! Can I adopt the kid? My parents hated me. That's why I ended up in such a place. I'll live here a little longer. This boy is from the Duman family. He stays here often, but his parents always take him back. Huh? So like, wait, wait, like, is this based off mine or is it based off his? Um, if it's based off his, I would do this one, but if it's based off mine, I would do this one, right? Uh, I don't want to say that though. He looks sad. Here, you know what? I'll compliment him. That's right. That's my goal. Successfully solve this issue and gain 50 reputation. Contemplation? Stamina increased by two. Yes, Kiff. Oh, Miss Farah. Sure has grown a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, your daughter looks very talented. With a sharp and powerful punch, will you let her become a knight? I, I will always let her decide. It's nice for you to be so open-minded. I want to get this cat of fish. Alright, back to the lake. <laughs> Let's be more imaginative. Let's take a sleep. Take a nap yeah. now. Let's go here. Hmm. Vagabond. I'm not here for food. I just want to see Lilia. I'm a little uncomfortable. I mean, like, I I wasn't trying to judge you, but those rumors of her and Mr. Handel, I don't care about it at all. Sir, do you think I should go and ask her out? Um, my daughter's here. Uh, try being friends. <laughs> as long as I can close it to her, I don't, I just don't know if my identity will cause any trouble for her. What? What's your identity? Lilia, there's someone weird. A writer. Do you guys look up to Warrior Absol as well? I'm writing a novel for him. It would be great if it can be a big hit. Can you give me some advice? Personally? Dragons. Oh, everyone loves to watch something exciting, right? I thought we were reading. Hmm. The logic in the story is important, but too much pursuit of logical perfection may lose fun of it all. The fun. You know what? Thanks. I needed to hear that. Hehe, <laughs> I just heard Derek mention the legend of the Golden Bird. That guy knows so much. Speaking of which, I was lucky enough to see the Golden Bird for myself once. In its golden light, I saw my future self more energetic, knowledgeable, and experienced and experience than the present me. Just like magic. Huh? <laughs> Are you interested in magic? You seem like a smart kid. Story corner. Uh? Let's see here. I don't think I need more action points. Ooh, a plum. Thank you. But I will grab this just in case I want to do, you know, the fun ones at home. <laughs> and then boost my mood uh. or her mood. I guess we can go back home now. Did I cook? Oh, I can cook now. I, I made things. I can make bread. Let me do this one instead. Oh, <gasps> we really got that five percent. Oh my god. Can I keep you those gifts? Leave me alone. I want to be alone to get my future. I don't want to consume it. Can I like? I don't want to use it. No. I want to give things to people. Another day. Oh, let's get the rest at home too. <laughs> Alright, so we got seven points. Uh. Okay. <laughs> what if I just do this four times? Technically, doesn't this make more sense to me? 
Oh, but I'm not getting any, she's not getting any strength. Ah, oh, it's fine. She's very, very strong. Wait, can't I see how much she loves me? Oh, wait, what? I can do this? Shoot. Share your secret. Huh? That was it. I can wear pocket money. Damn. Um, my intellect is close to a hundred. My ma Okay, well, these are what I got, so. Let's. Wait. Uh. My intellect isn't that high, so maybe I should just go for one more intellect. There has no interest in swordsmanship, Sherry. Wants to go out there and practice. There is practicing imagination like how she regularly practices it. What kind of story? Hmm. Toad's best friend. Alright, and with that, I'll end it here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.